Boys and girls, I've held on to this specific set of wheels for over a year for this very moment in time, and today I can finally share with you what I've had planned this entire time. Yo, a brand new spanking new set of wheels on a truck that we don't even have the license plate for yet. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the vlog, welcome back to the channel, and welcome to a glorious day on the vlog where we equip our brand new 2022 F-250 Platinum with a set of wheels that I've literally held on to for the last year, specifically for this truck right here. So I was laughing because we don't have this truck permanently registered yet. As you can see, there's no specific tag on it. We're still on our temp tag, which we've got time up until January 30th of 2022 with as we wait for the title to come in from Texas, which is where we source this truck from. We're typically pretty prompt and quick and snappy with getting things started here on the channel. And this is probably one of the quickest we've ever done because I already had a set of beautiful specialty forged wheels in stock just for this truck right here. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm super excited because this truck, after we've been tossing around so many different names throughout the last few weeks on the vlog, I think we're gonna coin this one Super Duty Sam version two. What do you guys think? Should we name it something else? There's a lot of really other good names. If you like other ones, you need to comment below and let us know exactly what you're thinking. But if you're in favor of Super Duty Sam, version two, which was an iconic gray, first gen, six, seven power stroke, 2014, that we did for Dream Diesel giveaway number five, almost three years ago now, that left a lasting impact for all of our Ford fans and enthusiasts in the audience over the last few years, do we reincarnate it with this truck right here and where this truck's going to end up? You absolutely have to let me know because the decision's going to be made as a result of this video you're watching right now. So Jake's in there pulling off the inventory tag on the window. We've literally not driven this truck more than maybe a hundred miles because I was waiting for this very moment right here. So I gotta send a big thank you to Dustin over at Custom Offsets for hooking us up with the rubbers. These 305, 35, 24, Nitto 420s for what is or could be Super Duty Sam. Drop a comment below, let me know. But also for hooking us up with those Venoms right over there and another set of 420s that we have somewhat assigned to a specific set of wheels as we speak right now, but that's gonna have to stay a mystery for this vlog. Custom offsets, seriously though, they deliver. They have such an available in stock selection and their shipping times are prompt, even in what feels like a very slow shipping phase that we're in right now amongst this kind of COVID thing. So whatever the case is, ladies and gentlemen, check out the 24 by 14 specialty forged concave wheels that we put on this truck. They're absolutely Absolutely gorgeous in every way, shape, and form. We went with a 305, 35, 24 stretch 420V because we don't have anything suspension wise for this truck at the moment, and we really wouldn't be able to run anything else. So, yes, I know not everybody loves stretch tires, but we as enthusiasts appreciate all the looks, and that look right there is exceptionally gorgeous. This 2022 Platinum with the revised front end and all the chrome accents that go throughout it complement those wheels so beautifully. It was like a match made in heaven. I think. Jake didn't close the door all the way because that step should not be. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't 
should not be down. There we go, look at that. So we've got the chrome on the side step, the badges, of course, the mirror caps. We've got the chrome running around the window bezel trims, and then all the chrome up front with the tow hooks, the grill, the headlights, and it just ties together so beautifully. But the obvious capstone to this entire look right now is that polished enthusiast bullet antenna. Speaking of guys, I just gotta say thank you so much for your patience to those of you that have ordered one of our polished bullet antennas for two reasons. Right now, the supply is extremely hard. We're manufacturing all these things local, and trust me, we're trying to get them out as fast as we possibly can. It's just that they're very popular and it's hard to keep up. Number two is we still have not guaranteed fitment for any 1500s. I know some of you guys have taken some risks and experimented to test if they fit on your 1500 and you found that, but we don't want to ensure it before we are able to increase our manufacturing time so we can get them out to a lot of our 1500 owners that are eagerly awaiting that compliment to their build. Look at the lights on on this thing. Those 2020 plus headlights make this thing look so prestige. It's incredible. Jake didn't close the door again. <laughs> So this model from Specialty Forge is their Elite Concave version two. The model specifically is the SFC16. It's this wheel right here. You can see obviously in a different finish, very nice finish at that black with milled and a polished slip, but we went all polished this time around and I'm so happy. You have no idea that today is finally here and these wheels are finally on this truck. If you guys can recall in some of my previous uploads, you had seen some four white boxes in the background of the videos over the last year and it was these wheels sitting patiently inside for this truck right here in this very moment. I cannot believe the time is finally here. So this is my second ever set of Specialty Forged wheels and I'm really excited about having the chance to have these on. Specialty Forged makes some really badass designs, guys. We had a super sick set on Dream Diesel Giveaway number eight, which was Blackjack. That G56 manual Cummins that we lifted up with the Magoy's eight inch lift and it looked awesome. But those were 12 wides and flat face, whereas these 24 by 14, concave wheels and what's cool about them is they actually are a lesser offset than the American Force 2414 or even the Fuel Forge 2414 because the way that they manufacture and mill the lip in the hub there's a little bit less lip but the concave gives you a lesser offset so these wheels compared to the other brands are a negative 76 offset whereas the other brands are negative 90. For those of you guys that don't really know what that translates into really it actually keeps the bore closer to the outside of the rim. So when you get to a positive offset, you essentially have the bore right at the front of the wheel where you get negative is when that bore goes inside the wheel and the hub is offset from the wheels, right? So when you have a negative 76, it will actually sit in, whereas a negative 90, that hub will be in further, hence pushing the wheel out further so it would bring it out another 14 millimeters. And in this instance, I'm very happy about that because we're running these wheels on a completely factory truck at the moment. And the less offset that we have, the better we'll be able to navigate this truck. When we get up close to this wheel, you'll notice that there are a lot of features starting from the inside. We've got these machined insets that go around the, the whole inner hub dimension of the wheel. They're all the exact same size going around. And then it spins out to the next inner lay which is a step to the final surface of the wheel. So it's almost like a three-dimensional, if you will. And then we've got these little cutouts that add for a very unique design all the way around rather than just having a single stage cutout, which is very, very cool. And then we didn't go anything crazy for the center caps. These are just your standard plastic with the black specialty forged badge. And I'll tell you what, guys, I've always wanted an F-250 Platinum sitting on a set of specialties. And, and finally, that day has come. Now, while we're vlogging around, I just wanted to give you all an update on Dream Diesel giveaway number 21, AKA Lone Star and the $30,000 that comes with it. We're still waiting to hear back from Compliance Sweepstakes Services as I know a lot of you guys are eager and anxious to find out who's going to be taking that truck home and if it's going to be you. We're right now in between that December 29th to January 1st timeframe. It's just that I haven't heard back from them yet. And at this point, I can't do all that much, but bear with us and be patient because that announcement is coming and it's coming soon. And I am impatiently, patiently waiting. As we sit here and admire the views, we've got Keg and rolling in from Keg's custom detailing. He's going to give Misfit the old treatment and he's going to get Lone Star all cleaned up. So it's a day of Duramaxes for that man right there. If you want to give him a follow, I'm going to go ahead and put his Instagram right up on the screen. The dude's been absolutely killing it. He's staying super busy and he does one heck of a job. And I'll tell you what, we greatly appreciate what he does for these trucks, especially up here because this stone driveway and a black truck, it's almost like oil and water. Hey.
I do have the factory Ford winch up for sale. I know you guys were somewhat bummed out that I pulled this off the truck, but look, it's just not going to do anything for me and it might do more for you. So if you guys are interested in this, I'm asking $2,750. It's a $3,000 factory option. So you're gonna save yourself 250 bucks on a brand new lift. And it comes with the wireless control system. It comes with the wired remote control. It comes with the worn baggie and everything you need to put it on your 2020 plus F250 or F350, no matter the year, it fits right in between the bumper. And come to find out a small little update since the last upload, there is a little bracket that goes here for the module. We have it disconnected right now, but we did order in from Ford that bracket and the plastic bezel that goes right in this area so we can get this whole front end put back together. So today, we're actually gonna take a truck that we haven't personally enjoyed together on the vlog in quite some time, and that's the 06 LBZ Duramax, AKA Jake's truck. It needs a little bit of TLC. Truthfully, guys, this is Jake's daily, and he uses it a lot. And unfortunately, when we get into these older trucks, there's just things that are unavoidable. But that's to be expected when you're getting into the generation of trucks that is absolutely iconic in every way, shape, and form. You tend to just accept these little flaws until you get them corrected. So we are planning on doing a little bit of TLC to get this seat bolster fixed. We have a great upholstery guy that'll do that. And we're looking into some steering wheel options as a factory replacement because you can see Jake's enjoying the drive so much that he's wearing straight through the wheel, boys. As I sit here in this truck, I'm just reminded of the Minimax. Can we all just take a minute to appreciate that iconic, absolute animal of an LLY? Man, I miss it. Here we go, cold start on the LBZ Duramax. Yes, yeah, we're gonna get let some warmth get through that Stealth 64, and we're also gonna let some warmth cruise through the seats. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Come on, it's like a fine wine. It gets better with time. So we're just gonna leave her out here in idling, but guys, I'll tell you what, this color and the 12 wide combination with, again, the none other than the 420V that's grown on me tremendously looks incredible. We've actually got some plans up and coming for this truck as well and I can't wait to show you guys what's in store in later videos. If you're excited about what we're gonna be doing to an already what is perfect LBZ, you gotta subscribe to the channel. What are you doing? Now, as we make our way around, we're greeted with the Suzuka Gray R8. It's sitting outside of the new Limeridge Automotive because today Adam's coming to pick it up and I actually wanted to get here to film that monumental moment for him in becoming what is a supercar owner. But unfortunately, I'm gonna be out in Utah. Heading out to my favorite place in the entire world, which is Utah, Park City to be exact. And we're gonna be doing some snowboarding, my wife and I. So I'm not gonna be able to be here for that moment. But can we just take a minute to bask in the glorious presence of the Suzuka Gray second gen R8. I miss it so much already, but it's going to a really good home. We got the man, the myth, the legend, none other than Tyler in, I'm gonna call it the bang bus. He's probably headed out to go grab some parts. All the whistle here this morning, my goodness. And he's off. <laughs> kind of have to call it the bang bus. I mean, it only seems fitting. I don't want to spoil Tyler's surprise and I'm not going to give away any details, but he's about to become another new truck owner and he's got something really gorgeous in store. I cannot wait to show you guys what he's about to pick up because it is game changing. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Lime Ridge Automotive. Can we just take a minute to appreciate the interaction and experience as you walk through the door? We've got a ZR1 triple poster canvas up here on the wall. We've got Sam ZR1 here hanging out front dead and center. Caleb is one of the new salesmen here at the lot making it happen. And if you guys don't know, Jamian has actually moved on to another opportunity and also moved to a new area. We are gonna miss him greatly as he was a staple here, but man, I'll tell you what, having Caleb front down and center is awesome. And he's nobody new to Limeridge. He's actually been working for LRA for the last few years. He was in the garage, he was doing a lot of the detailing. Now he does a lot of the listing. And he's one of the new lead salesmen here over at the lot. So for anybody that's coming out to check out a truck, we're probably gonna be greeted with that man right there. So as we make our way back, we've got this glorious red burgundy Corvette with red interior. What do you guys think of that spec? It's different. 
but in a very good way. I like it. I like it a lot. It is an automatic eight speed gorgeous car. We've got the carbon factory side skirts on it. And then we make our way back to be greeted with some pretty unique vehicles. We've got the oh so iconic LML with the L5P front end, which is Sam's worldly fab fixed main Denali. I'm still begging him to sell it to me, but as you can tell, I'm very unsuccessful. We've got this gorgeous fourth gen with this front grill. It's my favorite front grill on the fourth gens ever. It just holds a special place in my heart. We've got this crazy cool either SRT or track hawk. I don't know quite what it is, but it's obviously modified and sick. The six Chevelle Malibu 327 in glorious condition, a very nice F350 dually and another R8. What do you guys think of the inside of this dealership now? You can feel so many odd similarities between my pole building and the new Lime Ridge, so much so that if they had a similar colored floor as I do, it would almost feel like the same space. I've got an insanely large surprise plan for you guys for Dream Diesel giveaway number 22. Needless to say, none of you are ever going to ever see what's coming. style Duramax that hasn't considered a drop in VGT Stell 64 from Duramax tuner it's time to come to your senses it speaks for itself and the drivability of these things is unparalleled you wouldn't want anything less in your LBZ as you're sitting here cruising with the factory flip down armrest in comfort especially in this one with the heated seats on enjoying the smaller more intimate setting of the cabs on these trucks because they've really gotten bigger as the years have progressed without that power not only satisfying that right foot, but also all of your audible senses. Hey, now. All right, we're back up at the shop and we are backed up and ready to go. My flight leaves out of Newark here in just a few hours. So we got to hit the road. We're taking the wifey's Denali Yukon on up. Got it all packed up with the snowboards. I snowboard, my wife skis. I also ski as well, but I've been seeing that Park City's been getting a ton of fresh snow and I tend to balance my preference. So if it's fresh powder, I like to snowboard. And if it's packed groomers, I really prefer to ski. So it really kind of depends, but we're just bringing the snowboard out for this trip. You obviously can't plan the weather, so we plan this trip way 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 in advance and now it's snowing and i'm super pumped to hear that we've got the freshened up misfit chilling here in the shop looking amazing again shout out to my boy kagan for knocking that out he also gave the super duty its first ever wash here under the roof and this thing whew, boys this thing just looks absolutely incredible like i'm super in love with it so much so i just might have to make it my new daily driver. I say that because this build has to happen, but Misfit is my daily driver. And honestly, I just haven't had time to get around to it. But boys, I promise it's going to happen soon. And when it does, it is going to be absolutely epic. But seriously, in the time being, I might just have to drive that Super Duty. Super Duty, Sam, what do you guys think? Does it stick? Does it not? Only time and the comments will tell. 